we are back. So we went to a very vain set of events. Freshen up because we know we're scaring you people. We're like, ah, how are we going to be presenting like this? So we decided to, you know. Yes, do up our hair a little bit, you know, pack up our hair, you know. Just try to be presentable. <laughs> so we don't disgrace our generation here. Yeah. That's so <laughs> so back to the topic. So now that we've you know tackled the whole um the Tinder what is swindler. Tinder swindler. Would you so would you say if you were single, mm -hmm. would you have been open to meeting someone on like online dating? Basically, would you have been open to online dating, and then would you have been open to meeting someone on social media like Instagram? Mm -hmm. I don't know Facebook. If you do Facebook, um, yeah. So I'm going to take um, social media because I think that'll be the fastest. Yeah. Social media, I think I'm open. Not mm -hmm. anything. Yes, I would meet somebody on social media. I mean, I I have looked up people that I probably went to school with, and I'm like, how is this person self? And I just look up the person, and I say, oh hi, how are you doing? Now how's it going? So definitely, I feel like I mean, yeah. my classmates could have done the same thing. People yeah. were older, so I feel like social media is a yes for me. Mm -hmm. Online dating is a oh god. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I will be very judgmental and very maybe I'm, I, I don't think I'm the most open-minded person so I mean this is coming from my mind and my mind is not as open as I would like it to be I feel like 80% of people on dating sites are not who they say they are so and in fairness I don't even think it's very wrong because I feel like put your best foot forward right or don't put your best foot, your best yeah. truthful foot forward. Don't go and put exactly. A, put your best truth forward. Exactly. <laughs> truthful. So I feel your like truthful self, like your real self forward. forward. But I feel like people don't do that. So you, <laughs> I know there used to be a, a joke where you say, "Oh, do you work for an oil company? Do you sell palm oil?" So <laughs> maybe, maybe for example, you work at a gas. And no offense, I, we may come out as very materialistic after this, but no offense. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you tell me, oh, maybe you work at a gas station and you're a filling station and you are a filling station attendant. No judgment, no problem with that. But you come out and tell me you're an oil executive. And obviously, you put oil executive. So my mind, my shallow, unopened mind, like I said, will probably automatically think, okay, maybe he works for an oil company. That would be my first thought. Like, in no space would i hear oil um, or executive at an oil company and think you're filling station attendant yeah and i feel like that's my issue with online dating mm -hmm. um or online dating apps i feel like people put their they <laughs> over project and overestimate who they are and i feel like that's just a lie you're right. not who you say or so you see somebody and the person says oh i'm six foot four and then you see the person you know that my person is five ten <laughs> I, and I'm like, really? So I feel like that's where I I, I stand. And I mean, the stories you hear, you hear I you know this person, the next thing they kidnap this person. I'm like, so I feel like online dating, ah, oh God, I will struggle. I will struggle. Yeah. I will struggle. And I feel like I will pick apart the person piece by piece. And you right. want to start a relationship like that way. You are looking for what the issue may be. Right. You are actively saying, yeah. oh, this, 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 this. You're trying to tick boxes because you don't want to be yes. called for a scam. So I yeah. feel like that's how I feel for online, online dating apps. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how I feel. Yes. And there's also the, so for me, social media. So for me, I'm just generally skeptical when it comes to like relationships and mm. all of that. But my, my, like I'm just generally, even if I meet the person real life mm -hmm. and or someone that i always try to kind of you know what i know what i'm dealing with but for on for for social media for me i will be open to chatting with someone mm -hmm. and eventually potentially meet the person and then if we click get married mm -hmm. but for for like you said for like uh, um dating sites hmm. so i encourage people mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I, I encourage people to go on dating sites just because so for me there are two types there are two, 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 I would say, environments for the dating sites, mm -hmm. and it's based on country. If I was in, so I think we talked about this yesterday, even in the US here, or a lot of other, or even in Nigeria, in Lagos, probably, people are so busy, and a lot of people do things online. Mm -hmm. We shop online, we buy food online, everything is going online, so why not dating? Yeah, so people don't come out that much again. So. To, to kind of meet people, you might have to try online dating. Mm -hmm. 
Will I be so willing like, and excited about trying it? No, I would probably advise someone to try it before I do. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm more willing to advise than actually do it myself, <laughs> to be very honest. And I'm just so glad, I, well, like, but I get why people, so in the, I feel like if you're in the US, it's safe to say you're, you're, you're trying online dating, eventually meet the person and all of that. But I feel like back home in Nigeria, I feel like people may take advantage of that. There are not, I, like we were saying, like you won't, it's, I think you would hardly find any serious minded guy looking for a wife and it's online. Mm -hmm. It's just the most uncommon. Nobody's thinking about, like, if you want a wife, there's so many ways you can find a wife back home. Mm -hmm. Like in Nigeria, you can go to weddings, you can go to parties, people pick, hook you up and all of that. So, but, so when people are online, they might just be looking for hookups mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they take advice. So they also, I've, 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 I've heard someone actually say this. Like a guy actually verbally in this time say that she, he feels like women who are online are desperate. And they pray on that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They pray on that a lot back home. So I feel like if I were in Nigeria, I would be less less inclined to. Right? Inclined to and I also feel like, like online dating. No offense. And I feel like sometimes when I say some stuff, it, it, it feels like I'm being maybe a bit shallow minded. But I also feel like Nigerian, if, if a Nigerian were to run, Dating app. I don't feel like they do a lot of due process. No, I actually don't feel that way. Yeah, so I feel like there won't be a lot of vetting to go in to know yeah. are you who you say you are to a reasonable extent. extent. You understand? Yeah. And I, I don't feel like, oh no, I would be too scared. I'll be too scared. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, be very skeptical. Scared. And to be honest, honest, like, not to again sound shallow, <laughs> but the type of guy I'm looking for may not be online looking. You know, I, I I think we're talking about this yesterday. I was saying that I I have a or I'll bet some theory, but I have a theory <laughs> that if you are setting as a man, and I say this as a man because um traditionally and in the society we are, the men are the ones who go after. So they are yeah. essentially quote unquote the predators. They're the ones yeah, that make the go moves. out to. And so a woman might find it harder at a certain age to meet men because I mean she can't. Ex I mean, she can't make first century women, <laughs> you can actually make women, uh, more, women, women. Women, more women are more inclined to want to be pursued. Yes. Unquote. So I feel like I have a theory. If you're a man, you're above a certain age, you're about to do, <laughs> you live in Lagos, you live abroad, okay, no, maybe not abroad. Not abroad. You live in because... Lagos, you have a good job, you, you're not, you're not, you're easy on the eyes, you're not bad to look at. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a steady relationship. Your and you're not even just leaving a steady relationship. I tend to be suspicious. I tend yeah. to be like, hmm, what is wrong? What are you hiding? And I feel like it, it may not actually be, I mean, it may not actually be, we may be wrong. You I think I'm trying to be looking for love. Maybe because people looking. find single people every day, but, but they are not online, is my point. Mm, well, they are not online. These guys are not online. I feel like if I go online, I meet a guy that lives in Lagos. He tells me he lives in Lagos, in I don't know Surulere or Aja or even anywhere in Lagos. And then I ask you what you do, and I, I get the sense that you have a good job, and you're 35, and you're single. You, you, I'll go and to you your look village. Okay, hopefully, you don't look. You look like okay. You don't have like a. I will go to your village because you're lying. Mm. You're lying. <laughs> Why are you single? Why are you single? Are you are you single? Who did you like? I feel like there's there's always something, but this is me just being. Mm -hmm. you know. So in fact, he might have just come out of a relationship, he and that's fine. He However, might. I don't buy the oh you're successful, you're rich, you're fine, you're you have a good job, you're a good person, you live in Lagos, you are above a certain age, and you have not dated anybody in the past three years. Mm. Maybe Why? you're too busy. Maybe you're too busy. Maybe they are very they are workaholics. Maybe, maybe that's or maybe they are socially thing. awkward. Maybe. So if you are socially awkward, one hundred percent, I can understand how you want to be online because, I mean, it takes a lot of. I don't even know what word I'm looking for. It takes a lot, a lot of courage, I would say, yeah. to put yourself out there. So it takes courage. So if you're socially awkward or you're not as extro, not even extroverted, but maybe not as extroverted as the average Joe, I feel like. You would want to be in the comfort of your home um, and screen and then say okay this person i like what i see yes. and you don't want to 
meet one way with a girl that pay you mad and mm -hmm. throw something on you and say get out and then you walk away. Yeah. It's so embarrassing. I know. I mean men men do a lot to to see random bits. Listen, I said like, hey. that's why that's why sometimes so I I, I can't be a guy you know, like to be pursuing some I cannot be I can't take that level of rejection. I can't. The level out. of rejection is insane. I can't. I don't think I can. My confidence cannot take it. My self esteem. I don't think I can. My self esteem. Did like did. They are very anyway, and I feel like maybe they've had a lot of training. Yeah, and it's, I think that is part of for them it's part of being a guy. Like I, I have you know one of I like this friend that's like I gonna a junior guy, I gonna a woman man. They like that. It's a rite of passage. It's a rite of passage. You, you have to. you will be rejected. <laughs> I mean, but Multiple times, but my ah, my self esteem time and time survive. again, I can't. Time and time again, like oh my god, I, I, I can't. So it's a lot to men, right? I'm, I'm I'm proud of you all. I'm proud of you. Keep it up because some of us would have been sick. Ah, if not for those could have come in. No. So I if I always like I said I always encourage people, especially these days, especially now in this world that we live in now, to try online dating. But I think we should be guided, and as women, as this one is for the girls, like. Do not meet somebody today after one week you're already like thinking too far, falling so in love. Men are very clear with these things, like, and they are very calm. They, they take their time to process these things, but the girl will go all heart in first, like, and you end up getting bored. Like, you're not saying you broke your heart, you did not break your heart, you broke your heart, yeah. And it's like, you know, when you see a large body of Possibly cold water. Most people tend to put a tool first and yeah, check the water. Feel the water. Feel the water. I don't know why we just want to dive well, in and oh, he is this, is that, and then you're already planning and shaving. Like you're in your mind there. Uh, he has already checked. But the guy may just be looking at you and just be like trying to put two and two together. Am I really feeling this? Babe. Am I not? You know that kind of thing. Now you need to do that for yourself, for goodness sake. Like, and if anything, anyway, I was going to say if anything, um, Tinder Swindler has taught us is that we should do due, due diligence. Do due diligence. Do due diligence. Let me tell you. There were web pages, there were pictures, See, there were Instagram. Oh, oh, please do your due you diligence. Have you have to Even if you diligence. find out that, okay, maybe you missed something, at least you can say yeah. confidently that I, 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 I did, I did this, I did that, I did that. And and then you feel, well, I feel like you would feel better. Uh, yeah. I feel like. I tried. Yeah, I would you know feel better I mean? if I know that, like, I didn't just let myself, like, I ignored, like, things or, you know, I would feel better if I did what mm -hmm. I was supposed, what to, do. supposed to because do. Because we are not perfect, it may not, like, you know, work out the way we want it, but at least, at least we tried to use your brain, mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. God gave you. Brain and God. I and mean, God is telling you something. Just pull out. Pull out. Or and give it time. Yeah. I feel like give it time. And oh, I like, give it, always give it time. Yeah, like, because I feel like. Maybe you're feeling a kind of way you're not very sure of something, and some, and I feel like it's for me is always a red flag. Maybe I tell, for example, to that thing that sweet black, and then he asks me, "Oh, I, I need you to give me." Anyway, in that scenario, he was supposedly in trouble and he needed the money. Yeah. For example, you ask me for twenty thousand dollars, and I'm like, "Let me think about it," mm -hmm. and then you're like, "Oh, don't think about spending it now." For me, it's an instant yes. red flag. Yes, it's my money. Or it's my body, or maybe you say you don't want to have sex plan and they try to pressurize it's your money, it's your body, it's your time, it's you, you will be the one to go back and lick that wound. So give it time. And I feel like it's a red flag. If they tell you no, no, let's do it now. Yeah. Be like, hmm, why? why? What's the rush? Why can't we wait? I feel like that. And, I, that's and also thing. when people give you conditions in relationships, like Oh, you, you, you know, when you say we're in love, you have to give me this money, or you mm. say we're in love, you have to do A B C. Mm. That's like if you love me, you will A B C. I I have a friend who has a shirt that says two Igbo to play with me. How would you approach on if you were to go on Tinder, for instance? Mm -hmm. How would you approach it? What would be your approach in terms of due diligence? In terms of making sure that you don't get like swindled, of mm -hmm. or do or even just not a, so this what is not just about the swindling of money and all of that it's about waste of time mm -hmm. it's about meeting somebody who had no intentions of having a serious relationship in the first place swindling of time money time love, money love attention attention your indeed. body so um I, it may it may it, it may not be foolproof but i feel like so for me if i were to be on tinder and i meet somebody so for me the first thing i always start with is school i always check if I can go as far back as secondary school, I would. If not, I need to know university, what school did you go to? What class were you in? 
and I want to be able to do some sort of investigation based off of that. Mm -hmm. Because the likelihood that you read chemical engineering and came out with the first class and you are okay. The likelihood, let me not use engineering and first class because it's also very possible, but mm -hmm. the likelihood that you read medicine and you are you maybe not even in America or anywhere and you're not able to practice medicine the likelihood that you read it you read it well you passed your exams and you came out of school and you had a level head the likelihood that that happened in your schooling and you came out and you don't have a job is slim right so i feel like first basis was your school history mm -hmm. because if you sort of did well in school there are better chances of you being who you say you are it's, it's, it may not be foolproof but it's my theory that's one mm -hmm. and secondly where do you work of course let's check where you walk mm -hmm. let yes. me just close because i have a reflection mm -hmm. so secondly it'll be where do you walk mm -hmm. i need to be able to maybe meet your colleagues mm -hmm. maybe ask a mm -hmm. you know they always say you're eight people away from being the president you're eight people away from knowing somebody who knows, knows that, person. that person either from school or from work so i would also check work let me see if i can be eight people away from knowing somebody that knows you in the office mm -hmm. that's that and then lastly, I, I feel like conversation. I cannot, for the life of me, have a full-blown Tinder relationship without actually never speaking to because I know people do it, they just it's you know when you chat world, so people are chatting, chatting. They're texting, but they never actually had a phone conversation. Yeah. And and to be fair, I will meet you. I will meet you in a public place, but I will meet you because there's there's something about instinct and gut feeling, right? Mm -hmm. If you meet somebody, if you are if you are in touch with your senses and you don't allow emotions to rule you, you, you will be able to have a sense of how is this person? And in public, maybe somebody steps on him by mistake. How does he react when the waiter is rude? How does he react? You understand? So I feel like that's how I would address it. I I I, I need to see you. I need to speak to you. I need to know where you school and I need to know where you work. And then family can now come but I, I mean from these four things, yeah. then it's now easier to say, okay, oh, oh he works here, oh he has yeah. a he has three sisters. So one of the sisters even is here. Yeah. And then from there you are now you make the connections and yeah. Exactly. So that's how I feel. Yeah. So you cannot date Tinder, you can't do Tinder with somebody that doesn't live in the same country with you. <sighs> Gosh. Hmm. First things first, am I even distance relation to a person? I I can't do it if I have to, but at the start, it'll be hard. Yeah, at the start, it'll be hard. So, what, what can I validate really? Except no, you cannot validate anything. And, and maybe you move. But as I said, what am I validating? You, you cannot validate anything. anything. You can be scammed. Yes, exactly. You so, you can be scammed in that situation. I agree 100%. I have to meet you. Mm -hmm. For starters, is a meeting something. Mm -hmm. Let's, let, let me feel your energy. Exactly. I energy need to feel the that. energy around you. I need to be able to have a conversation, look you in the eye, mm -hmm. and have a, a conversation with you. I need to see, you know, see how you think, your thought process. Then, who are your friends? I would like mm -hmm. to know, like, one or two people. Oh, you know. So, for me, if I'm to go online dating with anybody, it's somebody that I can potentially meet, like, within the first week of doing that online dating, and then establish a relationship if I feel right mm -hmm. and um, yeah so there is no option for date doing Tinder with somebody abroad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it, it's non-existent mm -hmm. like there is nothing uh, no I know come to think of it I wonder how people actually do it I I, I feel like maybe we're what too are, similar I feel like we should have a third party I like know somebody that's so let us know on the comment section what will make you date someone online who you've never met never met for a for a long period of maybe like five months or six months yeah i i i, I like i'm what will make you I'm do interested. that honestly i'm interested because, because i can't i like i don't i don't how am i validating anything you're saying and i mean i feel like everybody who is within the dating or marrying age just can't watch that thing that's with that hmm. because you can google the person yes, guys the person if you haven't seen it what the person wants you to see if you, haven't seen, Wikipedia page. if you haven't seen ah. the Twitter swindler, right? Tinder swindler. swindler. I did say Twitter. After, just as after watching this thing, please go and check it out. Because it's very for me, I felt I felt like it was so mind blowing. Like I was just like, no. Yeah. I can't say no. She he even flew them to his destination. 
On a private jet. On a private jet. Man. I mean, lady in, in Tinder Swindler was saying that, oh, you know, you'd obviously Google the person. But the internet is so editable. That it's very, very editable. And she exactly put in a picture of him and that diamond person. He was in their middle. In their middle. So it is so edit. And I feel like people need to put that in the back of your mind. Anything. You can be whoever you want to be on the internet. You can't. You can have a full family personality. and friends and personality, and personality. on the internet. Yeah. So please, 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 please don't just really anyway. I mean, let's know about six months and never meeting the person and relying on a what the, in, in Igbo we say there's something called idrasse. And I feel like I mean not all Igbo marriages are perfect, but you see that idrasse thing. I feel like idrasse essentially means ask around. Ask around, or ask investigate. Around, investigate, exactly. It's very important. Who is your family? Yeah. Who is your father? Who is your grandfather? <laughs> Are they mad in your house? <laughs> <laughs> so it's very, very important because I mean, uh, nature versus, versus nurture. You are a product of two things your family and your environment. Yes. And that each one said will reveal your family and your environment. Obviously, it's not a hundred percent feel proof, but please, it's a lot better than the things that are good. Around. Because if there was Idra sent in that swing that they would have known that they're looking for him in Israel. And it's true. Because nobody asked it's it's true. And Julia, they did not ask the questions to Israel. They saw the questions to Israel. Because Idra is so important. Like, it's it, very it important. reveals, I mean, in, it also has its, its negative effect. Because, I mean, in this Idra said, there might be things that are trivial, quote unquote, yeah. trivial. And maybe should yeah. have done a little bit with culture and abolished and all that. There are things like that. But it's very important. I agree. It's very important because I see I see marriage is where the man has married the woman, then it's when they are married and now they are like, oh, you were married before. before. <laughs> and I have, you people do not ask. You don't know anybody in his family. I mean, did everybody in his family really lie? You don't know any cousins. Like, all the cousins lie. The friends, neighbors. <laughs> I don't have any wish. No, it's insane. What would be your ideal way of meeting your husband? I mean, you're already married. We know how you met your husband. Uh, I know how you met your husband. What would be like if you were to write a book on the best way to meet my husband, my, my spouse? What would be your best two, three ways? But you know, I, I don't, I feel like I'm not going to answer this question practically because I think I'm going to just use some fairy tale thing of, oh, you know, the the all, the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I'm in the office and I'm working and they say, Oh, um, come and meet this client and then you walk in and then you see one tall, hunk, beautiful man. You know, my cousin met her husband that way. They kept on so it wasn't come and meet a client. Yeah. So she was auditing or auditing their account mm -hmm. in in mobile. And she comes in looking for what I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you, okay? <laughs> she's, she's hot. Anyways, and the guy was there, and, and the guy comes in and like, who is this person? What's and that's how they got married. They started dating. So, I mean, so it's not exact. It's not it's very not far fetched. It's not far fetched, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's number one. Um, I wouldn't mind meeting my husband in church, too. Not, not because it's measly. I met him in church, then he's a good person. <laughs> no, not, not that. But I, I wouldn't mind. I actually wouldn't mind meeting my husband in church. I feel like. Maybe you are in church, you just finish, you know, praising and everything and then walking out <laughs> and this woman says, Oh hi, I was watching you in church and you just look at me like ah! Are you a church girl? You're not, are, are, are you really? Are you really? <laughs> I, I, like I, I said, I, I, like, I feel like I'm not going to be practical <laughs> in this my meeting thing. I feel like it's just I'm just <laughs> grasping it. But people meet different. people in church. In church. All the time. Yeah, and I think I'm a sucker for Christian guys. No. <laughs> 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 but I feel like I'm a sucker for um, relationships that started in school. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I think I'm a sucker for relationships that started in uh, school. You know, you chased high in school. <laughs> and you, and you, you, we, you went through the storm, you know, oh, you grass against the good odds, odds, you know. For <laughs> she says good odds. Baddest. <laughs> I suck up for that as well. And in these three things, I, I just feel like I haven't even been practical. But if you ask, I think me, like, that is the, all of them are very attainable. Like, right? There's none of them that is not 
I tell you, mm -hmm. my ideal way to meet a guy, like you say, you said, would be me doing my normal business. Mm -hmm. Whether I'm in a wedding or like in church or at work, and the, the guy walks up and says hi, or you guys have, or meet at the common, like maybe guys, mm -hmm. friends hang, hang out. out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that I, I feel like what you just said now is the is the summary of all I've said. Yeah. Being yourself. Being in my normal yourself. environment. And maybe not at a wedding, because I tend to oh if I'm going to a wedding, I'm going to dress up and, and I, I feel like I don't want people to meet me there because I make up like maybe five times a year. Mm -hmm. And it's a wedding. So if you see me at it's a it's a two different thing. Oh, you man. So you see me at the wedding. Peter, you will now see me on the road and say, ah, is it the same is person? It the same person? <laughs> One of my neighbors, so I mean it was uh, my daughter's photo shoot, so we're going to go and take pictures and I was bringing out stuff from the car. And she looked at me. <laughs> and she looked at me again. She said, You clean up real good though. <laughs> and I was like <laughs> because Worlds are past. One time I'm a I'm a proper proper babe, babe, and the other time I I wear bathroom slippers. I can even wear two different colors. <laughs> so I feel like maybe that wedding I would like it, but it's a bit touch and go. Yeah. I need to see you immediately the next day, so you see me in my as I am my natural form. That's true. Okay. That's true. I would probably want the guy to see me like talking because I'm, I'm I can be I'm very I'm talkative. Like I talk, I like to talk. Mm -hmm. I like to argue. I like to like. I want you to see me in that form, even so that it doesn't come. As so that it doesn't come as a shock shock or surprise or anything because i think that some guys tend to like quiet girls mm -hmm. that will sit down meow i'm not a meow person at all oh my god at all. Person, I'm, <laughs> I'm not meow i will talk i can be quiet when it's time to be quiet but mm -hmm. I, I like to talk i mm -hmm. like to chat so i need you to see me in my natural form so that you feel like i'm I probably fall in love with that that's what I want you to fall in love with. So I want you to meet me doing my normal thing, no intentions at all. Mm -hmm. That would be a good, a great way. Another way would be in school. Like that's actually part of doing your normal mm -hmm. thing and then meeting the person. Another way in school. Now I don't mind introductions. People introducing us. I am. I'm, I have reservations about that because I feel like when people are like. Especially for us women, people introduce you and then you're already ready bells, ging, ging, ging. In fact, before the guy is even because they told you A, B, C, D, you're just like, Pam, this is my husband. This is my guy. I've been looking for him all my life. You know, that kind of thing. So I don't want that. I want to, and I feel like it can be a bit performative sometimes. Exactly. It can be, like so, be a nervous. bit performative. You'll be nervous. You're trying to impress. You're not like the guy. Ah. Well, and you know how you like it when you start liking mm -hmm. a man, the way you carry yourself is different. It's different. Very different. You try to, you know, you know, babe up. Mm -hmm. But if I met you doing random stuff and then we randomly just fall in love, you're falling in love with me. Mm -hmm. Like the me that you already know. So yeah, it, that introduction thing can be very performative because you feel like you need to put your best foot best forward. Best foot forward, yeah. <laughs> and you are not always at your best. You're not. So when you shout at the person be like, ah, ah. But you I don't you believe never you. <laughs> You are meow all the time. All the long, you were like, oh, being all cute. So you oh, shout. Wow. I think this has been fun. Yes, it has. Um, generally, go please go ahead and try the online dating. Things are going. Everything is online now, so why not date it? Yes. You can do that. Just do your due diligence. Be careful. Trust your guts. Like you have to have like a high level of, I don't know, suspicion sometimes to be able to detect be a these things. Be a pessimist. Be a Pessimist, sorry, a little bit of pessimism is, is required and ask questions, ask questions and ask questions, dig, dig, dig. Let nobody make you feel like you cannot ask any questions after you guys are getting to know That's each other. Red flag. If they cannot ask yes, questions, if they start they trying flag. to hold hold back and not give the answers, I think it's it's a very big red flag. But on that note, thanks for yeah. thanks for joining thanks for <laughs> joining having me you. today. Thanks for um I'm guys, going to do a lucky wise. Yeah, very yes. soon, don't worry. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> well, this guys, I told you guys, guys this will have to be like a fun, fun channel for you guys to come and chill, relax, juice. So hopefully we'll, we'll have another session. Yes, we will. You can yes. give us video suggestions, like what you guys want us to talk, talk about, about, what you guys want to know. Um yeah, on that note, thanks. Uh make sure you click on the like button and subscribe subscribe <laughs> i've always free. wanted to do this please subscribe please down subscribe down below ah, i can't believe you're doing this <laughs> please subscribe down below and um thank you so much for watching bye bye, bye.